Hello everyone, good afternoon. Day 19. I'm going to start out with uh, Bobby Casey's Hornpipe. Thanks, kind of a lonesome sound. I know that as Bobby Casey's Hornpipe. Uh, it's most commonly known as the Humors of Tully Crean. <clears throat> I actually had the extreme privilege of getting to hear Bobby Casey play that tune and teach it in a master class uh, in Milltown Malbay, County Clare, Ireland in 1983. Um, he was quite old at the time, um, but uh, Still played marvelously. Great memory. Um, next, I'm going to sing a song. Uh, it's a cappella, and I learned this uh, from the singing of uh, Cathal McConnell in The Boys of the Lock. There are many, many versions of lovely Nancy. Nancy seems to show up in a lot of songs. Uh, so uh, here we go. Fare thee well, lovely Nancy, it is now I must leave you To cross them wide ocean where the stormy winds do blow But it's not my long journey, be of no trouble to you For my love I'll be back in the course of a year 
Let us talk not of leaving me here, lovely Willie. Let us talk not of leaving me here on this shore. For I'll not be forsaken, or to the wild windy taken. Stay at home, lovely Willie, to the seas do not go. Well, Willie went to sail, and lovely Nancy stood a wailing. And the tears from her eyes, like from fountains, did flow. While Willie went to walkin', a doon the key of Philadelphia. And the thoughts of his Nancy still rung in his mind. So Willie wrote a lantern to his own true love, Nancy, saying, if you'll prove constant, sure I will prove true. But Nancy on deathbed and could not recover. When the news was sent to him, his love was no more. Come all you young fair maids, and a warning take by me. And courts not a seaman, nor a sailor so bold. For first they will court you, and then they'll deceive you. For their mind is perpetual, like the Westmoreland wine. Lovely Nancy uh, from the singing of Cathal McConnell. Uh, the last word wind in there is, of course, actually wind. So, but that's the way they pronounce it. So, um, it's a, you know one of those warning songs about those sailors again. You can't trust them, and in this case, you know, it killed her. Very sad. All right, so I should do something a little happier uh, to liven up the day. Um, I'm going to do a couple of uh, fiddle tunes that are kind of uh, showpieces or, or well-known uh, tunes in the fiddle tradition on both sides of the Atlantic. Um, the first one is called The Mason's Apron. I can't remember what it's called over in Ireland, uh, but uh, Ali Bain uh, from the Shetlands, actually, in Scotland, uh, plays a great version of it, uh, very fancy. And then the second one is The Devil's Dream, which is a very common fiddle tune. In Ireland, it's known as The Devil Among the Tailors. And uh, this is another tune uh, that we do at the Willie Street Fair uh, parade for the um, Fiddle Brigade. Fiddle Brigade. Uh, Devil's Dream, it's a, lot of, it's a tune a lot of uh, beginner fiddle players learn. And I think I probably was one of the very first tune, tunes I learned. All right, couple of reels for you. The Mason's Apron and The Devil's Dream.
right. The Mason's Apron and the Devil's Dream. A few reels to uh, get us going today with some, some high energy. Uh, whew. All right. I'm going to slow it down a little uh, with a Scottish song. It's one I believe I probably learned in elementary school. You take the high road, I'll take the low road. Um, a week or two ago, I did Red is the Rose, which is the uh, exact same melody, uh, but done a little slower, and the Irish version of the song that the Clancy Brothers do. Um, this is the Scottish version that everyone knows, Loch Lomond, named after the largest lake in Scotland. So here's for all you kilt-wearing, bagpipe-playing, uh, whiskey, single malt drinking folks over there in Scotland. So, uh, and this was a request from my niece, Ashley, and I had actually planned it for today and she asked for it and I said, well, what do you know? Here it comes. Uh, Bonnie banks and by on Bonnie praise where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love were ever want to go on the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond. Oh, you take the high road, I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland for you, but me and my true love will never meet again for the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond. I mind where we parted in yon shady glen on the steep, steep sides of Ben Lomond. And in the purple hue the highland hills we viewed and the moon coming out in the gloaming. Oh, you take the high road, I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland for you. Me and my true love will never meet again on the bunny bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Broken-hearted hen, the broken-hearted kens, nay, second spring again, and the world does not know fray we're greeting. Oh, you take the high road, I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland before you, but me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond, the high road and the low road in Scotland. All right, I hope everybody's doing well out there. It's Thursday, the uh, 9th of April. This is day 19 of doing quarantine Irish tunes. I hope you join me again tomorrow. I can't believe it's uh, almost three weeks of, of, uh, of doing this. So hope everybody's staying sane and well and uh, connected. Uh, so let's see this next song has a little story to it that i found and i, I like to uh to share it so um the fellow that wrote it is uh, a guy named pat shaw originally from england i believe but he spent a lot of time living up in the shetland islands and wrote a whole lot of tunes in fact he says he was one of the most prolific writers of english dances and dance tunes of the last century um, this particular one was uh, written in 1964. It's called Margaret's Waltz. So the story is that uh, Pat says, um, let's see, 
Oh yeah. So Jay Ongar, who wrote uh, Ashokan Farewell, um, had learned this, this tune, Margaret's Waltz. And so he's, this is his story. He says, some years ago, I taught this tune to the Shetland fiddler, Allie Bain. At the time, I didn't really know where it came from. But when he got back to England, Allie thought it was exactly the type of tune that Pat Shaw would enjoy hearing, and so he played it for him. Pat replied, yes, indeed. He did like the tune. Because as a matter of fact, he wrote it. Just like that story. <laughs> All right, so Margaret's Waltz is going to be the last one of, uh, of the day. Here we go. Margaret's Waltz. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Be strong. We're all in this together. Be kind.